bite his daughter-in-laws of hers. He says, I'm going to leave you all together. And I'm going to go back home. I know that at home I can glean. I can get stuff out of the corner of the field. Because the Lord has provided a corner for me. If nothing else. Naomi had a talk with both daughter-in-laws and said, Dog, if, if I could have a child now at my old age, you wouldn't wait around just to marry that son. Go back to your people. Go back. Some of us are easily discouraged. Doesn't take a lot. Sometimes just a half of a conversation can turn some of us around. All we got to get is just a pinch of negative in the conversation. And we're ready to throw in the towel. Praise the Lord, somebody. But I, I believe in this region, God got some folk that are up for the challenge. No matter how much negative stuff you talk, I'm going to be blessed in this place. Praise the Lord, somebody. Can I get a witness in the house? Oh, hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus Christ. Y'all oh. just. Go back. Oprah kissed her mother in law, but Ruth, the Bible says, she clave unto her. I believe that even though some of us have went through some stuff in 2012, we're still holding on to Jesus. Because we know the best. Can I get a witness in that? Some of us know the best is yet to come. Don't let go of Jesus. You let go of other stuff. Praise the Lord, but hold on to Jesus. Hold on to him. Ruth Cleave unto her mother-in-law. She wouldn't let her go. Oprah went back. Some people are going back. Least little negative wind blow their way. They're going back. But we got to be valley fighters. Because some valleys we're going to go through are not going to always be conducive to what we want to go through. But one thing I know God's in the valley. Just like He is on the mountaintop. Praise the Lord, somebody. And stop letting your valley fool you. We're supposed to have some lows in life. We're supposed to have some ups in life. Praise the Lord, somebody. I believe tonight is a little night here for everybody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I don't care what you went through in 2012. You need to encourage yourself. It's over. It's behind me. The God that I said is more than able. Yes, he is. More than able. He's more. Can I get a witness? Would you say it? He's more than able. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's more than able. He's more than able. Mm, thank you, Jesus Christ. Yo. I believe that a husband, before he passed, had to minister. Life in such a way that she wanted to get to know this great God. See, we got to start making God so delicious. We got to start talking about Him. And everybody will want to taste and see 
that God is good. When I do pork shoulders on my smoker at the house, a lot, a lot of people hunt accolades and you know, Second run in the middle, when I five do my minutes thing in the middle. Real. I don't have to worry about them. I give them the meat, they take it home. They call back mouth full of meat. You can't understand. But the point I'm trying to make is it's time that the church start to testify about this great God. See, people would love to get to know him in a very special way. Just like you know him. But you gotta make him seem mm, good. You don't talk about something that's good but a, but a sour look. Now I can make mention of Mama Harold in Mississippi. And I know I get a witness in the house. Praise the Lord, somebody. Mama Hammers, the catfish, the barbecue ribs, the greens, the lima beans. Praise the Lord, somebody. I took y'all up Friday, y'all went back again Saturday. Praise the Lord, somebody. Bishop Mike Gray, when I got here, he said, Man, I heard Mama Hammers was close. I said, Oh. Take an act of Congress for them to close that place. <laughs> but there were some good grocers. And we enjoyed them grocers too, didn't we? We got to start making Jesus as the best thing that could ever happen to their life. And I believe that that was that was that was that was dialogue between her husband and her to convince her that this great God, this yeah. Jehovah, yeah. Yeah. This, 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 that compound name, yeah. Come praise the Lord, Jehovah, Rhea, Rapha, and all those good things the Lord will provide. Yeah. The Lord will fight your battle yeah. for you. Praise yeah. the Lord, somebody. And see, when people pump you up like that, you want to get in on what God got for you. Yeah. Yeah. And she says, to her mother-in-law to entreat me. In other words, you better say something good. Praise the Lord, because I'm not going to leave you. I don't believe that, that my husband told me about this God. It's, it's you right now. You're going through, but I'm not. I'm encouraged. Praise the Lord, somebody. And do you know one thing? She told us that when you go, I'm going to go. Where you lodge, I'm going to lodge. Praise the Lord, somebody. Your people going to be my people and your God going to be my God. You can say what you want to. I know I'm a Moabite and Moabites don't know this great God. But I'm going to stay with this thing until I get a chance to worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord, son. See, see a lot of us, we, we got something greater pulling us. Yes, we do. And, and I, I believe because God works in mysterious ways that she somehow felt a calling to go and be a part. I think her, her future was calling her. See, we got to stop basing our joy on what we feel right now. On what you're going through right now. Because God is greater than the moment. 